everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. Today we are going to be talking about some books that I got for my kids through this quarantine shutdown. I know a lot of us are home with our kids and we've had to kind of change our schedule up a little bit on some of the things that we could do with our kids. A lot of you guys are new to homeschool or you have had to homeschool your kids and now you know they get done with their work and now they have nothing else to do well this might be a way for you guys to um just grab a book and have some extra activities and stuff for them to do in a book way i have posted other videos with like fine motor toys for ages like one to three i think it was and then one for four and up or three and up and i'll kind of link them up above and you can check them videos out and then i also had some other toy videos that are more like not ones that you just let lay around the house that your kids can play with but more that you can just pull out they can sit at the table and while you're cooking they're just extra fun things that they can play with to stay busy while you're trying to get things done. So, and then I also have other homeschooling videos um, a little further back in my playlist if you guys wanna check some of that out. Some of the things that I got are um, just like activity books. Some of them are learning books and maybe like extra credit books if you want them to work on after they're done with their school books. I know a lot of you guys have been thrown into homeschooling um, but for us, we've homeschooled now for 14 years. So I'm a little used to um, some of that part of what's going on in our, you know, this crazy time right now. So for me though, I like to always purchase some extra books that I can pull out when maybe my little ones are done with their schooling, but the big kids are still working on ours. I can pull out some of these books for the little ones to work on um to keep them busy while i'm helping the older kids i'm gonna start with some of the learning books that i got on amazon and two or one of them is the alphabet book i have two of these just because i have twin five soon to be five-year-olds that can work on these this is something that they usually work on anyways for homeschool so this is just going to be kind of like an extra workbook that they can pull out um, during a time where I need them to sit and work on something extra. So this is alphabet trace and letters. It says, and sight words, adorable animals. So they would just trace everything and then be able to practice uh, writing it on their own. So that's with that book, them books. And then I also have two more books for them. And this is pre-K math work workbook for preschoolers so number tracing so this is what this book looks like so it's not quite where they can oh, they have a couple areas down here where it's going to be free writing but otherwise it's going to be a lot of tracing so if you have kids that are going to be starting school like i said it says preschool that they're going to be starting school so three years old that they'd be able to maybe start practicing using these books. And I'll leave a link down below in the description on all the books that, that I have right here so you guys can go check that out. Okay, so that's them right there. Now, a lot of things that I've done through some other, like during the nighttime or when my kids go to bed, I have some kids that don't fall asleep right away. So what I like to do is print out some word searches. So you can go online and look up free word searches and you can look up like I looked up Batman and Minecraft and stuff like that. And I just print off one sheet and then they're able to bring that to bed with them and work on them in bed. So that's another idea that you guys can use for your kids is you don't always have to purchase things, but if you have a printer, then you're able to, um, you know, print some of them off. So that works out good. There's also other um, places that you can print off like tracing letters, tracing numbers, and shapes and colors and stuff online too. So you don't always have to purchase things. Um, here is another book, it's called Word Searches. So this is for K through first grade. So this is a little bit younger, younger grades. My kids already did some in here. So it only gives you, uh, so this one has like eight, 
eight words. And then this is what it looks like. So they could take one of these sheets to bed with them. Another book I got on Amazon is totally dot to dots and it has under it puzzling pictures. So the difference with this book is, I can show you quick. Uh, let's see, I'll show you a better example. Okay, in this one picture right here, if you follow along the colors, each one is their own individual like dot to dot. So this one, um, the yellow dot to dot, and then you have the green dot to dot, and then you have this one, and I, yeah, this one and that one. So that just gives them um, different areas that they can do. So just another example. So different color, meaning different uh, dot to dot. So instead of just one whole picture, all different puzzles and stuff in here for them to work on. And this is another thing if they wanna bring up to their bed that they can work on upstairs. So what one of my kids, I kind of bought this for one of my ch children and he is 11 and he just brings this up to bed and just works in the whole book so it's jumbo pad of puzzling fun this one has hidden pictures what's wrong mazes spot the difference word searches and more so this would be a picture one and if he doesn't want to do certain ones in here then he can let one of the other kids do it so this would be spot the difference another hidden picture. So these might be simple enough that my five-year-olds would be able to work on too, but maybe not everything else in the book. So that is that. Which things in this picture are silly? It's up to you. So this one is just pictures that the kids can look at and see what they think is silly. So that's that book. Uh, another thing that I like to get the kids is scissor skills. And we, I don't remember when it was, but we ended up getting some plastic scissors from some kind of Crayola kit. So we've been using them scissors up to the age of like four years old. And in that way they can use the scissors, but they won't get cut. So that's another good thing. If I remember, I'll link them down below too. So you guys can, um, this is, that's for like little kids that are just learning how to use scissors. Nash and Lachlan are able to, to use regular ones now because I trust them with it. And then Evelyn is, just turned two so she uses the plastic one because she feels like she's doing what everybody else is doing so i give her that but for hand coordination and skills with the little ones i buy these scissor books and what they need to do is it shows them where they need to start and what they need to do to finish um and some of my some of the other books that i have gotten in the past is where they, here's another example. So they would have to learn how to squiggle their way up to the balloon with cutting on the line. Uh, what I was saying before is in some of the other books, what they needed to do is cut out their pieces and then paste them in the right area that they needed to paste them at. So I get like kind of random scissor cutting books. So whatever is your preference. And then this one, they would just cut out the monkey face. So they have all different animals in here and different cutting techniques. Starfish house. So they have cute ideas and then they can color it also. So they have shapes in here and then practice lines and stuff that they can practice doing too. So I like getting that kind of stuff. And this is, like I said, they can just pull this out and they can work on this on their own. Um, some of the stuff that we do in our house, so I have everything back here behind the curtain. So if it's above, they're not able to touch it. So I would need to get them the scissors and the things that they need if it came to that kind of stuff. But otherwise they have free range of stuff like this if I can still get them some of the stuff that they need. So that's fun to do. Okay, so the next thing is really fun mazes for five-year-olds. 
When I went on, they showed different ages for this book, but I showed you before, oh no, that was a word search one. Here, I'm gonna show you guys, quick. The word search one, these little books, you can get mazes for kids that are, you know, younger, like four or five years old. And then, so this is for five years old, but this is just a bigger book. So this is what this looks like. So they're not hard, but they're perfect for that age group. So they have all different things. So I always like pulling out something when I need them to work on it, or like I said, at nighttime. Okay, the next books, okay, I gotta figure this out. Okay, I have, th these four came in a set. So they were all in one grouping. I don't remember the price on these. I would have to, I don't know, look it up or whatever, but I will list these down below. And it might not be the exact same, you know, pack that I find, but I'll try to figure out, you know, some of these books. Okay, so the difference with these hidden pictures, what you do is, okay. So you can find all of these pictures in here. So everything is black and white. So when you're done with each, you know, all the book or each page that you wanna do, when you go to the beginning, it has a checklist. So you're gonna have to find any of these throughout the book. So some of this you might need a child that's able to read to try to do like the bonus round of these books. So that would be, or you can just sit with them and say, okay, surf's up. You need to find two of them. And then you would help them go through the book and try to find that. And it might not be, it's gonna be through the whole book. So you would just have to uh, locate that. So I have, like I said, four of them. And it says more than 350 hidden objects. So that these are from 2020. So if you're looking for it, if I can't link it down below, but you can look for it, this is what um, it is. And then the first book is Hidden Pictures, book one, and this is what it looks like. And let's see what book two looks like. This is what book two looks like. So if you're looking into it, that's what it's gonna look like. Okay. So for our last book, I have Farm Tales, Solve the Hidden Pictures, Puzzles, and Fill in the Silly Stories with Stickers. This book is a little different too, so I would have to read most of this for my little ones and then they would be able to put the stickers in. So let me show you. It's kind of like a riddle. So they're gonna see the picture and then I would read the riddle and they have to fill in the spots on what it would be. Here's an example on the back. And that's why they have stickers in here. And then in the back of the book, they provide you with all the stickers to the riddle. And it even tells you the page. So here are the story titles of where they are in the book. So it shows you, you know, like the page number and stuff like that. And then here are all, um, in that section is where they would go in the paragraph or the story that it belongs to. So you would follow along and then they would have to find these pictures or these stickers in the picture. Or if you don't want them to fill it out in here, you could fill it out by just writing the word here if you want. If you have kids that are able to read, then you could just put the word here and then just have them put the sticker on the actual picture in the in here. So I think what they're saying is put the sticker here so they know exactly what to look for. But if you wanna kinda of make it a little more challenging, then just write the word here and then they have to find the stickers and the hidden picture in there. So that's the last book that I want to share with you. Um, I do have more books that I did order that I'm going to be doing, uh, like what am I going to be doing for my homeschool next year? Some homeschool books that I have for the twins that are going to be in kindergarten. 
and that that uh, video won't be up until later on, you know, closer to school starting. But I did order some stuff that's still kind of boxed up and um, I didn't take it out yet just because I know what it is. But it's gonna be more books similar to stuff like this and learning books that I like to pull out on off times. Okay, so I'll leave everything down in the description and you guys can check out some of the links that I'll leave down in there. And then I'll also, like I said, I'll leave some cards up above for you guys to click into if you guys want to watch some of the other videos that I posted on toys and other ideas for this time. Maybe you could use some of these books for your grandparents or some of the caretakers that are watching your children at this time. This would maybe give them some extra things to work on and not just school related stuff, but extra fun activities that they can take along with them wherever they need to go. I'll leave a link down below for these products if you want to check them out. All right, hopefully you guys liked today's video. I hope I gave you enough great ideas that you guys can get on Amazon to help you out during this time with your kids. And maybe this would be uh, like a gift that you could give to your grandparents or caretakers that are taking care of your kids at this time. Maybe they're, you know, it's just a crazy time right now and they need some extra workbooks that they can work on. And these are fun extra work workbooks. These aren't just like, you know, things, normal school stuff that they have to work on during the day. So these are things that they can, like I said, use at nighttime, pack up a backpack if you need to, you know, go for a ride or whatever, and they can just bring this along and work on it in the vehicle if, if they need be. Or like I said, at nighttime too, they can just sit in their bed and work on some of this stuff. So, all right, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.